The theme of this year's World Economic Forum meeting in Davos is mastering the fourth industrial revolution, which looks at how the increasing use of technology and connectivity will change the way that things are produced and manufactured. But along with new opportunities, these advances also bring new dangers. Criminals taking advantage of the developments too, with the international policing agency Interpol saying cybercrime is one of its top priorities. Jürgen Stock is in Davos. He is the head of Interpol and joins me now. Thank you for being with us. What is the biggest challenge you have in terms of fighting cybercrime? I think the, the biggest challenge we are facing is that cybercrime is a borderless crime by nature. So it's a very international phenomena, it's a very complex phenomena. And the business model, let's say the criminal business model, has changed completely. So you don't need to be an expert anymore. You just can use um, illegal tools that are available in the Internet. You can buy um, the services in the Internet to attack our private computers, to attack the computers and the IT structures of companies or the critical infrastructures of our societies. So we need a criminalistic 4.0, the tools uh, we need to dismantle organized crime groups operating really around the globe and uh, damaging uh, our systems just with a click of a mouse. How difficult is it to keep on top of cyber criminals given how nimble they are and how quickly things can change? I think uh, the exchange of information uh, is of crucial importance. We need to better cooperate uh, with the private sector to learn about the patterns to uh, attack companies, for instance, to share uh, the knowledge to develop um, uh, programs to better protect our systems but also to improve law enforcement because getting the criminals behind bars must be an important part of any strategy. That kind of information sharing also relevant at the moment because Interpol and other agencies have become under huge criticism when it comes to counter-terrorism. Uh, for instance, after the Paris attacks, France, Belgium not sharing information. What is being done to improve that? I think we have to be uh, better. The global awareness on foreign terrorist fighter travel is piecemeal and still deeply fragmented. So Interpol provides uh, a global platform to share this, this kind of information. So just sharing on a bilateral basis is not enough and uh, no country can deal with this problem in isolation. So we need a new dimension of sharing this important information uh, monitoring the traveling of terrorists and again Interpol provides the opportunity to share this relevant information. Interpol has the strength to provide this information to the frontline police officer, to the police officers at the borders so that they possess the information from 190 member countries and that they are able to be part of an early warning system and uh, to take action but again the access to information, the sharing of information is crucial to be successful in a, in a joint approach. Are all 190 countries up for this or are some of them blocking it? I, I would say we are still improving. Of course, you need to have the, the legal requirements, the legal basis to share. You need to have the technical tools to share information electronically. So Interpol provides a secure network connecting these 190 member countries. But you also need to have the commitment to share. We need to develop the trust between the various agencies, between the intelligence side and the law enforcement. I think we are in a good way. We, have, we are providing a, a database on foreign terrorist fighters containing now 6,000 profiles on foreign terrorist fighters. And Interpol makes sure that this important information is available at the front line uh, at the, the police offices, in the streets, and uh, at the border stations. And we are still developing this global network, and we receive a significant support from governments also to strengthen this global network. If we take the foreign fighters database as an example, how many countries are actually contributing to it? I think we now have more than 50 countries contributing to this database, uh, and the number is growing. Uh, and we try to connect also the regions. We try to connect Europe and uh, the African continent. We try to connect Asia to the Americas. So this is the, the, the value Interpol can definitely add in really providing the global platform we need 
to fight a global phenomena. Jürgen Stark, the Chief of Interpol, thank you for joining us from Davos.